In this video, I'm going to talk about dark mode within various Microsoft cloud-based applications like Microsoft 365 and Power Platform based apps. Dark mode is a display setting for user interface. Now, usually in this screen, like if you see the screen, um, here you have a dark text shown on a light background. But instead, in dark mode, what happens is the light color text is shown on a darker background. So you can assume that this background is say dark black and you display the content uh, uh, with a lighter color on top of it. Now the dark mode basically reduces the light emitted by the device rendering the content. Dark mode reduces eye strain while reading content. Uh, dark mode is different than the high contrast mode. Now various uh, applications and services whereby dark mode is applicable is uh, uh, I'll show you a demonstration of Windows, Microsoft Edge, Microsoft 365, Microsoft 365 Admin Center, SharePoint, Power Apps, Power Pages. Now, why dark mode is important is because some user may prefer to uh, have their app rendered within a dark mode interface so that it uh, aids them in understanding the app and also it is very uh, light on their eyes while viewing the content. Now, uh, as a part of the user uh, experience and user interface design, it is essential that your application or your operating system supports those dark mode interface. Now, as you see over here in my screen, uh, in Windows 10, if you navigate to the setting, you have an option to choose the default Windows mode. You can select light or dark, and you can choose your default app mode as light or dark. Now, it is available within settings. Now, Within Windows 11, if you navigate to the settings under personalization, here you can check uh, the dark mode and the light mode, and you can even select the custom mode within Windows 11. Now, there are various other settings like the transparency effects and accent color, but we are just focused on currently how to set a dark mode in Windows. Then within the Microsoft Edge web browser, there is an option if you navigate to the settings, here, there is an option to set the uh, system default mode uh, or light or dark mode. So what happens in system default is like if your operating system has a dark mode enabled, then by default, it will enable the dark mode. If the operating system has light mode, then it will select the light mode. Or explicitly, you can specify that for Microsoft Edge, I want a light or a dark mode. Now, just to show you uh, on the right on the right hand side, like once you uh, make it in a dark mode, then it will look uh, something like this. Office.com, when you navigate to Microsoft 365 homepage, here there is an option uh, to select the dark mode. So what happens is like when you select this dark mode, uh, your entire screen turns into uh, a dark color, and then you can view the content uh, as you see over here in the right hand side of the screen. Admin Center, Microsoft 365 Admin Center stock mode work quite different compared to Microsoft 365 uh, dark mode uh, enablement. So if you enable Microsoft 365 dark mode, not necessarily there will be a dark mode functionality within Admin Center because both dark mode and light mode within Admin Center and Microsoft 365 operate on a different mode. So here you will see a, uh, a hyperlink basically to enable the dark mode. And once you enable this dark mode, will uh, switch back to the dark mode over here and to revert back you can navigate to the light mode in SharePoint there is no specific dark mode option available however you can set uh, the theme of the SharePoint site to either dark yellow or dark blue now this will give you a dark theme now remember this is not a dark mode however the entire site can be converted into a darker theme uh, with a base of dark yellow and dark blue Alternatively, you can upload a new theme which has a dark interface. Now, the resultant screen, as you see over here, it will be shown in a darker background with a foreground white color. In Power Apps mobile app, you have a dark mode functionality. So if you navigate to, uh, if you open the Power Apps within your mobile phone, so I've taken a screenshot of my phone uh, in Android. So here, uh, if you uh, go to your profile page here there you'll see an appearance menu and under appearance you can select either light or dark or system default 
in canvas app the canvas app editing interface itself you cannot navigate to a darker mode however for the application there are two types of theming available now one is the classic theme so i'm showing you the classic theme so classic theme always appears on the top ribbon now you need to enable this classic theme if you are in a modern editor uh, because this uh, classic theme will be uh, uh, obsolete in the coming days so here you can select brown dark aqua rose forest color for your uh, power apps which is a basically a canvas app and remember this is a classic theme now in canvas app there is something called as a modern theme whereby you can use modern theme for your modern controls now remember this themes can only be applied to the modern controls it is not applicable for the old control however there are various properties available to convert your old uh, interface like old controls into a uh, modern theming uh, based on the modern theming properties now there is no specific dark theme uh, available within the modern theme as of now however there is an option to add a theme whereby you can generate a theme based on the color and then you can select the dark mode accordingly in power pages again there is no dark mode available however for the site you have a couple of styling options available like the dark blue and the dark yellow and you can use that to render your site in that corresponding color scheme dark mode for a model driven app now in model driven app there are two options now in model driven app as you see over here there is uh, the try the new look is disabled over here now if you turn this on then what happens you will get a message like turn off the new look and once you turn on the new look then an another experience is available like a dark mode for your model driven app now this is only applicable for model driven app so this is the custom app which I have built and now this is how it looks like uh, when enabled in a dark mode. So I'm going to show you all this in action. So this is Microsoft 365. So this is how you navigate is just by typing office.com. Once you do that, click on the clock icon over here and there is an option to turn the dark mode on. So you turn this on and your dark mode is on now. So if you navigate to any content or any of the menu, all the many options will be in the dark mode now if you want to revert back you can just turn that off and you can navigate to various uh, other settings in the same lighter mode now if i turn on the dark mode and if i navigate to admin then what happens is like admin.microsoft.com is a separate site altogether now here the dark mode is not applicable based on the settings you select over here okay uh, in microsoft 365 uh, office.com now in order to turn dark mode in microsoft 365 admin center there's no option available in home however if you navigate to users and if i go to active users there is a link over here whereby i can turn on the dark mode so if i click on enable dark mode then the dark mode is turned on now if i navigate to home then home is in dark mode then if i go to teams and group every other options which you see over here will be turned into dark mode now if you want to again revert back to the lighter mode click on enable light mode and then it will be reverted back to the lighter mode so office.com and microsoft 365 admin center both are separate application and you need to turn on and off the dark mode independently for both of this application in sharepoint if you click on settings over here there is no way whereby you can apply a dark mode however in sharepoint if you want to change the theme of the site so change the look you can navigate to the theme and then here you can either add a new theme by using command line uh, interface or you can uh, select a couple of black themes which are available like there is a theme called as dark blue and dark yellow so if i click on say dark yellow and if i click on save now see the uh, this entire site has been turned into a dark theme now this is not a dark mode however um, the closest option which i can show you is the uh, the changing of the theme which uh, is the uh, basically gives you a dark mode interface now if i go to theme again and if i do not like that theme i can select dark blue theme whereby the, the background will be not much darker but it will be in a blue interface so this is the closest what you can get in sharepoint in power apps 
in Power Apps. Now on the top part, if you see over here, this is the classic theme. And on the left hand side, here you will see the modern theme. So any any classical classic control which you embed, this theme will get applied. Any modern control you put in, this theme will get applied. Now in the classic theme, you do not have, uh, you have some dark mode themes like the dark themes like dark aqua rose so if you pick up any control so let me pick up any control so if i add say, button now there are a couple of button one is a classic and one is uh, the modern button so if i put a classic button over here so this is on the left hand side there's a classic button and the right hand side there is a modern button now both looks uh, same kind of similar as of now but if i change the theme and if i make it coral then if you see over here what happens is this button the classic button gets updated based on the theme so if you want to have some sort of a darker look go for the forest theme and then you get this as a dark interface now for the modern control for this theme you do not have a specific option for a dark theme over here however there is an option to add a new theme which can generate this palette based on the color so if you select something called as a black and if you see a generated palette you can have a black uh, theme uh, and then you can even select the font and you can create that theme and then once you have that theme you can apply that theme and then based on that those themes get applied to the Button. now this is canvas app now in canvas app X interface you cannot set the dark mode as of now okay now going back to the uh, model driven app now this is a model driven app now if you see over here in the settings try the new look option is disabled now if i want to have the dark mode in model driven app what i need to do is like first i need to turn the new look on so if i turn the new look on it gives me a message i'll say okay switch to the new look once this uh, setting gets uh, affected, then I am in a modern look model driven app. Now, again, if I go into the settings, then the dark mode option is available for me. If I click on dark mode, then what happens? My entire application is now set into a dark mode. And then this is the actually the real dark mode, uh, which is available for model driven app. Now, again, this is a custom app which I have built world app now here also the same thing if i want to turn on the dark mode i'll just turn on the dark mode and then this dark mode is now available for all the pages so it is not only applicable just for the list page but then if you navigate inside you will see all the pages uh, within that application turns into that darker mode in power pages uh, in power pages there is no specific dark mode available for the authoring interface so if you go to the setting there is no dark mode specific uh, setting however for the entire website you can select some theme which is dark blue and dark yellow so if i select dark yellow watch ha what happens on the right hand side so this uh, entire site get converted into that dark yellow theme and then you can utilize uh, that dark yellow theme to render the theme onto the website so that's the closest we can get from a dark mode perspective so that's it folks this is all about various application and services within microsoft and microsoft 365 power platform with regards to either dark mode or dark theme thanks for watching